Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And we've talked about the direct light here on Guy in a Cube. We've done a couple of videos. I love it. It works great. But there's something that happened. I think it was back in September. Microsoft announced the ability to edit your direct light models in Power BI desktop. The only way you could do it was in a web browser. But now you can do it in in the Power BI desktop. So you want to see enough of all this talking that I like to do is head over to my laptop. So the first thing you want to do is build out your semantic model. So you go here in the web browser, choose new semantic model. I can't, I can't, can't do it that way yet either. But what you would do is you would go to your lake house and you choose new semantic model and you choose your tables. And then once you do that, it'll create it and bring you into the web modeling view for your semantic model. If you want to edit your semantic models in the web and you click on the ellipsis and you open data model or write DAX queries is disabled, what you would do is go to workspace settings, go to Power BI, choose general, check the box. Users can edit data models in the Power BI service. Once you do that, you can go and open your data model. So this is what my data model looks like right now. Now, remember what I said, edit direct lake models. You cannot begin the creation of your direct lake model in Power BI desktop. Not yet. You can create your semantic model in direct lake mode. You start the creation, the authoring, you begin in the web browser using the model view in the web, and then you can go to Power BI desktop to begin to edit the model. Let me show you. So now once I have my model created, I can start editing I can add calculation groups, measures, relationships. I can do all that right here in the web. But if I like to author my models in Power BI desktop, I can do it here now with direct lake models. What you need to do first is go to settings and then go to preview features and you need to check the box live edit. You may need to reboot Power BI desktop. Okay. So once that's on, you're ready to go. Now, I want you to pay attention to these icons right here because this really made me excited. I'm going to go to my One Lake Data Hub. I'm going to choose Power BI Semantic Models. I'm going to choose that model that I created. And don't just click Connect. Click the little drop down and you're going to choose Connect or Edit. Choose Edit. Watch those icons. Once it establishes connection, boom, you only have two. You only have the model view and the DAX query view. I'm basically in model author mode. I can't create reports. I don't want to create reports. I can't view the data. It's in direct lake mode. If I need to view the data, I either will write some DAX queries or I go back up in the web browser or I can live connect to this semantic model and start building my reports like I should one semantic model to rule them all. Maybe not one, but a few. So now I can begin to author my report. So for example, I can get my fact table and have all these different relationships, all these different dimension tables. And so I can just drag and drop. So I'm going to choose my customer key, drop it right there. Take a look at my relationship. It says it's many to one. That's not what I really want. This is the one. This is the many. I'm going to go ahead and switch that to one. The many click save. Boom. There's that relationship. If I do the city key, I go ahead and take that, drop that right there. Not sure why it's doing many to one because that's the one that's the many. I'm going to switch this to one to many, but I can continue this iteration of creating these relationships. If I go back to my web browser and I go to edit tables and I refresh right here, this is going to refresh my schema and guess what's going to happen to my semantic model in the web. Click confirm. Boom. There's my relationships. You see the two relationships I created? They're right there. So the semantic models in your workspace. As I may author and make these changes in the desktop, the authoring is right it automatically back to the semantic model that's stored in the service in, in Fabric. So for example, if I went here and say, give me a new measure, I'm going to do something really simple. We'll call this total sales. I could have done this in the query view equals some sales amount. And then if I go back to the web browser, and just click a refresh. I could have done it the other way to refresh the schema. But now if I go to fact order, you can see there's my sales amount right there. Like I said, you can do lots of different things. I can go here to my DAX query view and start writing queries directly against this semantic model. And it automatically syncs it back to the web while I'm working in this top. There's a few things you need to do. You need to enable the XMLA read point. Make sure it's read write. The person who's doing it must have write permissions on the semantic model. You must have viewer permissions on the lake house and it doesn't work with the free license. All right. What do you think? Have you been waiting for this like me? Hey, well, I have a full authoring tool without creating reports, or anything. I just want to develop data models. I think this is great. If you have any questions, comments, you know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If you want to learn more about fabric or the workloads in fabric, probably a video flying above my head. And as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.